I'm standing here with the owner of Record Baron, Dan the Record Man. Um, the first thing you notice when you walk in is just the amount of vinyls. Do you have any idea how many you have? <laughs> Actually, no. There's lots. <laughs> The running, the running joke is I've got 600 square feet of store and 700 square feet of stuff shoved in it. So why do you continue to use vinyl records as opposed to any other form of audio media? Well, they tell a story of uh, the history of rock and roll, and it takes you back to the beginning of, uh, of actually taking music and sound and putting them on a vinyl disc. And I always ask uh, everybody this question, how many grooves in an album? I don't know. There's only one, the beginning and the end. <laughs> it nice. was the way music was supposed to have been played. Uh, it was a time where people got together and listened to the latest album out and sat around and talked. And it brought people together. It was a time, again, of the beginning. How long have you been collecting vinyl for? Uh, all my life, since I was a uh, you know, kid. Do you have a particular favorite album? That's a really tough question. Um, it, it depends on the mood. You know, sometimes you know, I like very thoughtful stuff like Dylan, and sometimes I like very hard edge stuff. carry the uh, type of selection and quality that I have and I have back stock in artists you know I have stuff that they started out with and it's kind of harder to get the older you know, uh, back stock for artists and I carry all of that I carry it in punk 60s new wave cutting edge you know heavy heavy metal you know and um, you know there's, there's a good selection here